Panorama Towers just off the strip for this edition of High Stakes Living. Today we're going to tour the home of Antonio Esfendiari. Let's go check it out. Good morning, card player. Welcome. So this is Mikasa. Enter. This is it. This is where this is where it all goes down. Yeah. This is where uh, we have parties, after parties, get-togethers. You know, I like a pretty social person. So I'm always having people over and whatnot. This is, uh, by the way, it's not done. I'm getting like a really nice art piece on the wall there. The balcony, you get a great view of the strip. What I love about this place the most is the, the windows. You know, everywhere you look, everywhere, yeah. the view is everywhere. So this is the office. I got, I got a nice view when I'm chilling, working. That's where all my work goes down. And that's it. And this is, this is the room where all my friends crash in uh, when they come over, which is all the time. So. You have lots of visitors. Yeah. I gave all my best friends the key to the place, so whenever they want to come, they can just come. That's cool. Yeah. You want a key? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you got it. As long as you promise to use it. <laughs> this is a really nice kitchen. Do you have a cook? Uh, no. I barbecue, but you're not allowed to have a barbecue in this complex. Although I'm thinking of sneaking one in there anyway. So. Why but, are you not allowed to barbecue? Are you gonna like set the place on fire? I think the smoke uh, might. I don't know. But uh, I cook once in a while. I cook breakfast burritos. I love breakfast burritos. <laughs> That's about it. Did you ask them this morning? No, I didn't have time. You but, have a nice little bar. I'm surprised there's not 19 bottles of Cristal, right? It's in the fridge. It is in the fridge. There's one bottle on there, I think. There's one. Is there any other part of your house that you want to show us? Yeah, you can come see the bedroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my dad, by the way. Hi. Say hi, dad. Hey. Uh, my assistant, you? Christina, she's the best. Oh, Ashley, you, you're a pretty family person, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. And I saw him. I saw you saying hi to him on Poker After Dark, right? Yeah. You got to watch him? You like to watch Maybe, him yeah. and play poker? Yes, I do. I'm his biggest fan. Are you? Wherever he goes, I go. Do you, play, do you feel like you play better when your family's around? Not necessarily. No. Maybe I play a little tighter just to not get busted or something. <laughs> this is bathroom number one. Just simple. Well, that's bathroom. a crazy sink. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. This is the bathroom number two. These are my friends sleeping, and if you'd like, I can open the door and have a little, you know? <laughs> I'll do it. This is my bedroom. I was 100% sure you were going to say this is one of the magic happens. You know, I thought about it, but that would sound really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So magic is left better unsaid. Can you get a read on me? No. You're too cute. I would never be able to concentrate. <laughs> so this is my favorite part of the day is when I go wake up my friend. And my best friend who was sleeping in the office, I made him wake up and uh, go sleep in here because you guys were filming. So my roommate and my best friend are sleeping in the same bed. Is that an official key? No, that's how I get into it. <laughs> Good morning, sunshines. That's what happens when you have poker players as friends. Come on, bro. We're filming. We have to make a TV show. You don't want to cut your ass from TV, dude. Want to get it on the hand? <laughs> if that doesn't work, I, I always just put the music up full blast and that weeds him out of bed. Because I get up before anybody, ever. There's my other friend. Oh. I just forgot. Hello. <laughs> How many friends do you have staying with you right now? Three. You're just in town? Just Three. Three. What the heck? Yeah. What? gonna kill you. Yes. Well, I know you have to get to um, your Shoot. shooting for I Bet You. Mm -hmm. And for people who don't know out there, can you tell us what that show is about? Yeah, it's called I Bet You, and it's basically Phil Locke versus myself. Mm -hmm. And we just walk around and bet on anything and everything, from getting a girl's phone number to getting dropped off in a random place and seeing who can get to like point B faster without using any money, who's a better panhandler, who's a better surfer, who's got better sperm. Like, 
things like that. Where can people watch it? It's on the Mojo Network, which is a high definition network. Mm -hmm. So if you have uh, if you have cable and you have a high def TV and high def cable, it's in the 700 somewhere. It's called Mojo. You can also go to MojoHD.com and watch an episode there. And there's also uh, clips of it on YouTube. Okay. And you guys, it's really funny, so you should definitely check that out. Thank you. And I wanted to do this since I got the chance. I got you right here. I wanted to make uh -oh. a bet with you. And I don't have like the cash that you guys okay. do. Five bucks but, five bucks. No, but I thought maybe. Have you ever heard of call out push ups? No. Okay. Well we can make a bet and whoever wins will have to will have the right to call out push ups. Like the next time I see you are you gonna be at the five diamond? Okay, yeah. Poker classic? Okay. Call out push ups. How many push ups? Ten. You got it. I'll bet you that you can't get those two guys out of bed in the next minute and a half. Minute and a half? Yeah. Okay. You got if it. If I get them out of bed, then I Out of bed and out of the room. Then I owe you push ups. Okay. And if not, you owe me push ups. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. Guess what? You owe me push-ups. Okay. So you owe me ten whenever I want. Yes. I like this. Okay. So you lost our first bet. I did. You lost. I did. I, I lost. I love that. I lost, but you I'm owe me sure. ten push-ups whenever I want. I will, and I'm whenever gonna. Whenever I seem fit. Okay. Can't move the professional. My I TV know. show is about betting. I know. You totally have the edge here. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try a different bet sometime, and you can call out those ten push-ups whenever you want. Okay. Thank you for coming. All right, well, I know you gotta get going, but thank you so much. Thank you. And have a great day. You too. Bye, card player. And that was the home of Antonio Spendiari. I hope you enjoyed this edition of High Stakes Living. I'm Chris Yarnett for Card Player TV.